Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll show you how to make a simple login form in IMG UI and how to check for credentials. Before starting, please subscribe and leave a like as it helps me a lot. And also don't forget to join the Discord server and maybe leave a comment down below with your suggestions for other coding videos. So thank you for watching and let's get right into the video. So we're gonna test everything in our IMG UI here uh, from uh, last episodes. If you didn't watch them, you should watch them before this. Um, so first of all, let's move everything from the test window, which is the first window shown to the second window to the window two, because I want to do something interesting. So here in test in the main window, we will basically make our login form and if it passes the login it will show the second window so we can make a bold that uh, is logged to check if we are logged in or not so it's going to be bold logged and equals false because as default we are not logged in and here instead of this this is testing from previous video i will just type if logged is equal to true all right, so now we should start making our actual login form, but before that, we also have to include two more things here at the top of our project. We're gonna have to include your stream, system files, and string. <clears throat> All right, so going back here, uh, where our, our defines are here, we have to define four things. We have to define two chars that will hold our inputs and two strings that will have the input we want to check. So the answer, the correct answer. <clears throat> so let's create a char named input username and a char named input password, right? And after that, let's create a string. You're going to have to use std string if you didn't use namespace std. So std string username is going to be equal to, let's say, test and std string password is going to be equal to 1234. All right, so we have our input username, input passwords, and desired username and desired password. So right now, now, let's make some input boxes where we can, where the user can actually enter his credentials. So first of all, let's type some text that will say something like uh, input username, right? And then in order to receive input, we need to use IMGY input text you will see this asks for quite a few arguments so we're gonna go through them first of all it asks for a label but because we have our input username text above here at label label we're gonna start with two h tags which means it's only for label and it's not gonna actually show the text and we're gonna type something like a username input After that, it's going to ask for a char buff. This is the char where we store our, um, our inputs. And as you can see, it asks for a char star. And we only have a normal char. And it's fine. Just type shift 7 before and then input. Uh, or how did we name it? I, I totally forgot. Input username. So input username. And after that, it's going to ask for a uh, buff size. You can use char max or you can just type size off and type your input username again. And that will be fine. Also, the bracket here. All right, let's do the same thing with password, but I'll also show you a cool little trick. So we can just copy paste this and make the changes needed because, yeah. So here we type now input password, we change the label here, let's say password input, change the buff here from input username, of course, to input password, 
size of you can leave input username if you want doesn't really matter because they are the same sizes because we didn't specify a size but let's say input password but after this in optional flags we can put optional arguments we can put on imgy text flags and for the password a cool little flag exists imgy input text flags underscore password this will make the input not visible what you type it will all be stars and not the actual thing you write as you can see password mode displays all characters as star so we can check if this works uh, we can build our project real quick and launch our program here and as you can see input username input password you, we can type something in it and it will go directly in our inputs there so that's that also in case right now i so that i cannot type anything in case size of bugs sometimes you can just use charm max because it's going to be basically the same thing if you don't give our char a size let's see if anything changed yeah so now we are able to type someone's size of this bug you should you should be able to use i'm array size or just char max and everything will be fine all right now let's actually make a button to check for our logins and tell the program to switch our logged ball to true if the uh credentials are true and if they are correct so we're going to start with a button i showed you how to do this in previous videos so if i'm gy button and let's name it login and now when you press the button let's actually do the check so if let's start with a username if shift 7 input username equals equals to our string we created here username you can compare chars to strings now directly so if input username is equals equals to username and the operand for end is shift 7 twice so this means and our uh, input password is equal to <laughs> password we will set our logged ball to true so pretty easy we just check if the input username is equal to the username and the input password is equal to the password if that's true then it's going to set our logged to true and we can test this so if we type anything random it's not going to work but if we type what we told our program here so test and one two three four we're going to click login and our second window here will open and show the window basically so this is how you make a login form in imgy c++ now um keep in mind that this is just uh, for testing and if you want to have multiple username and passwords you will need to link to a database and download from there the data and the username and the passwords and check through all of them with a four probably but uh, this is for testing if you want to have a key or a single username uh, you can do this like uh, that with inputs and then check the input because you can now compare charts directly with strings so thank you guys for watching please subscribe and leave a like if you found this video any helpful and join our discord server again so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day